very bluntly, is he a massive liar or is he a guy who just caught short? Uh, I'm I'm going to speak personally here. Um, I think he's a massive liar. Why do you think that? Because I think he must have known that um, that these uh, events were breaking rules. I mean, the idea that he would, you know, have stood up um, in one of these press conferences and said, uh, you know, a workplace wants to have some leaving drinks for someone. Uh, would we... Um, would we be able to do that? And he's he's claiming yesterday that he would say, oh, it's up to each individual place. I mean, he was asked these questions at the time. Should you have Christmas parties, for example? No. Um, there was a letter, a, a boy, uh, a young boy sent to him asking if he could have a birthday party. No. I think that it's pretty obvious that he was telling porky pies um, and he's been caught out. I mean, we can see that. We can see it in the emails uh, from his comms, between his comms team, kind of debating on how they should best present, you know, a response to journalists who were asking about this. Uh, we can see from his, quite frankly, bizarre and uncomfortable uh, and and pretty aggressive at times uh, appearance yesterday at the Privileges Committee. He didn't, you know, he just repeated himself. He kept saying it was, he thought, you know, it, I just felt like it was some sort of, psychological experiment that whole appearance you know he was trying to say basically how do you know what was going on inside my mind and the information I had in my mind you will never be able to know that so therefore you have to find me not guilty I mean it's just it was it was just bizarre (laughs) 